Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Gase, and thanks for being with us tonight. We do want to begin, though, with the latest developments involving today's trench collapse, a construction accident that left one man dead. Fire crews at the scene believe the man was killed instantly this afternoon when it happened, but his body was not recovered until this evening. Argelisa Garza has been on the scene throughout the day for us. She has this update on our top story at 10. Monday afternoon, firefighters were called to Leopard Street right in front of Buck Stadium after what Chief Robert Rocha with the Corpus Christi Fire Department says was a horrible industrial accident that took the life of one man. It was a difficult uh, trench rescue. It was dangerous uh, uh, for firefighters to uh, enter, but with the proper equipment and the proper training, they were able to establish a safe area. Fire crews working nonstop to rescue a man who was working in a trench on a project when the trench collapsed. Rocha telling 3 News he believes the man was killed instantly. Firefighters were able to get on scene. Uh, we noticed that right away it was not going to be a rescue, but that it was going to be a body recovery. We knew right off the bat that uh, we were facing in a difficult circumstance. It was a dangerous trench. After nearly six hours of crews working to stabilize the trench to retrieve the body, they were finally able to do just that. Firefighters were able to uh, extract the uh, body and we were able to uh, lift it out of the trench and then we have subsequently turned the body over to the medical examiner. This project that was being worked on was not a city project. It was a project through a private contractor. Rocha says there will be a local, state, and federal investigation. But tonight, one family has lost their loved one. Placing myself in that same situation, I would want to happen to my family the same thing that we were able to provide this family, and that is uh, a dignified recovery uh, in a difficult circumstance. Jalissa Garza, 3 News.